Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on permutation and combination. In this video, we'll be looking at factorial notation. We have N exclamation mark is pronounced as N factorial and defined as N factorial equal to N times N minus 1 times N minus 2 up to times 3 times 2 times 1. This is the expansion of this n factorial. So we have more examples using numbers. We have the first one being 6 factorial. The expansion is 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 up till times 1. And when we simplify, we have it as 720. Then for 8 factorial, we have it as 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and that gives 40,320. We also have 4 factorial which is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 giving us 24. And a lot of more of these examples. You can also punch these on your calculator to get your value. Please note that 7 factorial can be expanded in a short form to just be 7 times 6 factorial. You can also expand it as 7 times 6 times 5 factorial, 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial. In any way you think it will be easier for your simplification. And then also n plus 1 factorial is going to be n plus 1 multiplied by n factorial. Remember it is continuous subtraction of 1 to get the consecutive multiplier. So that's all we'll be looking at here. Now we go to solve some problems. Problem 1. Calculate the following. A. 5 factorial times 3 factorial. B. 8 factorial over 6 factorial. C. 7 factorial. Divide by 4 factorial times 2 factorial. The last one is D, 4 factorial times 5 factorial. And at the denominator, we have 3 factorial times 2 factorial. So we start the solution from A, 5 factorial times 3 factorial. We expand. This is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then times 3 times 2 times 1. So the first part, which is 5 factorial, is 120 then times 6 which gives 720 then the second one which is 8 factorial divided by 6 factorial we have we're going to expand it in the short form as explained under the notes of the previous slide we have 8 factorial times 7 then times 6 factorial over 6 factorial when do you know when to stop it depends on what you have at the denominator so that this 6 factorial goes with the 6 factorial we are then left with 8 times 7 which gives 56 then for the C part of the problem we have 7 factorial over 7 then for the C part of the problem um, we are going to expand this 7 factorial up till 4 since we have 4 at the denominator so we have 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 factorial over 4 factorial times 2 times 1. This has been expanded. The 4 factorial here goes with this 4 factorial. 2 goes here 1 and 2 goes here gives 3. This is 7 times 3 times 5 which gives 105. Then we go to D. This is 4 factorial times 5 factorial then we can also expand as usual 4 times 3 factorial so that we can go with this 3 factorial the denominator then the 5 factorial can be expanded up till 2 factorial so that we have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 factorial all over 3 factorial times 2 factorial so the 3 factorial here goes with this 3 factorial the 2 factorial here goes with this 2 factorial. So we then have 4 times 5 
times 4 times 3 which gives 240 so that's the end of solution to problem 1 we then go to problem 2 for problem 2 find the value of n for each of the following we have n factorial over n minus 2 factorial equals to 2 and for b n plus 1 factorial over n factorial is equal to 7 so starting the solution from a um, we expand this n factorial up till n minus 2 factorial so that we have n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 factorial divided by n minus 2 factorial is equal to 20. This n minus 2 factorial goes with this n minus 2 factorial. We have n times n minus 1 remaining. We expand. It gives n squared minus n is equal to 20. Forming quadratic equation by arranging it to the standard form of quadratic equation, we have n squared minus n minus 20 is equal to 0. We then factorize. Um, we have n minus 5 into n plus 5 equals to 20. How do we get the factors? Two factors of negative 20 whose sum will give us negative 1, which is the coefficient of n. So the two factors are minus 5 times 4, which gives negative 20. But minus 5 plus 4 gives negative 1. So that's it. And then you can see that it is only n minus 5 equal to 0 that will give us the positive value of n. And we are only looking for the positive value of n. So that n is equal to 5. That's the end of solution to problem 2a. We then go to 2b. For 2b, we have n plus 1 factorial over n factorial equals to 7. So we are going to expand it, the numerator. So we have n plus 1 times n factorial over n factorial is equal to 7. This n factorial goes with this n factorial. We are left with n plus 1 is equal to 7. Taking this one to the right hand side, n is equal to 7 minus 1 which gives 6. And that's the end of solution to problem 2. And this is the highest we can take in this tutorial. See you in the next video on permutation and combination. Goodbye.